It's Friday, the 28th of December, and it's time for a long overdue Oroville update in the mighty Luscombe. Today, what we want to look for is work to date on the buttress wall, that wall that's going to, where the RCC is going to match up to the existing OG weir for the emergency spillway. They're putting in a buttress wall right along there to toughen up that uh, connection. We also want to look for backfill. They've been blasting alongside the walls of the new spillway to backfill the walls of the new spillway. And of course that's uh, been registered by the USGS as a 2.5 chemical explosion earthquake near Oroville. And of course all the wackadoodles out there have gotten a hold of that claiming it's going to be the end of the world when all they got to do is a simple Google search and find out that yeah these are planned explosives to create the backfill that they need to backfill the walls of the new spillway at Oroville. We'll also look for work to date on the wall uh, road going over the emergency spillway accessing the boat ramp, figure out how that connection is going to be made. So let's go up in the mighty Luscombe and check it out. Nice, cool, breezy, super clear day today. Good day for flying, except for the wind. Looks good. As we head up to Oroville, in the north wind, it creates a little turbulence, so hang on to your lunch. But first, I want to tell you about another exciting upcoming Blanco Lirio infrastructure video project. Just south of Oroville Reservoir between the Blanco Lurio Global World Headquarters in Oroville is another very important reservoir in the Northern California system, Bullard's Bar Reservoir, the dams up portion of the North Fork of the Yuba River. Together with the Colgate Power Plant located just six miles downstream, this complex is owned by the Yuba Water Agency, and these folks invited me along for a personal tour of the entire structure as they're going to be adding a brand new redundant spillway to the Bullard's Bar Reservoir Complex. As we've learned from Oroville, this second spillway will provide redundancy and additional safety, as well as be able to fine-tune flood control water deliveries ahead of major storms. So stay tuned for this exclusive in-depth tour of this amazing facility, and then I'll start doing regular updates on the construction of the new spillway at Bullard's Bar Reservoir. Yuba County. Meanwhile, back at Oroville, a lot of the additional recreational infrastructure is being improved along with this project, including the Bidwell boat ramp. 
gaining greater access to the lake at extremely low levels. Like what we're seeing here today in December, the lake is down to 668 feet. The lake level bottomed out in mid-December at about 663 feet and is now just very, very slowly rising as the rain this year has been a little bit slow coming. Here's a snow report from one of our recent trail rides. Remember when I was up there camping out with Chewy? This is the trail work we've been working on. And this is what the snow pack situation looks like up in the High Sierra. The snow line looks pretty high right now, which is great for us riding, but it's the end of December and we need more snow in the Sierra because the Sierra is our first reservoir for water storage here in Northern California. Unfortunately, with warmer temperatures, that snow line is rising higher and higher and less snow each year, the more need to preserve that water in our reservoir systems. Need more water. We'll get our first official snow survey for the season here on 3 January. Meanwhile, the beetle blight trees continue to fall faster than we can cut them out on our trails. So approaching the backside of the spillway, looking out to the west, you can see the Sutter Buttes and all the way across the valley today in crystal clear conditions out to the coast range. Given the long range forecast, I think it's gonna be a long time before we see the new spillway pressed into service. One of the first changes we can see in today's flyover is both the structural concrete plant and the roller compacted concrete plant have been demobilized and moved off the property. Remember the structural concrete plant was located up here on the parking lot for the boat ramp and the roller compacted concrete plant was located down here at the bottom of the emergency spillway. Keywood is able to demobilize these modular plants and set them up into the con desired configuration on the next project. As we bend around here a little bit further, we can figure out how the boat ramp access road is gonna be configured. It looks like it's still gonna come across the dam and then down below the emergency spillway around it and then up to the boat ramp, which they hope to have back in service next summer. The existing road inside the emergency spillway will be removed. And if in the event they ever use the emergency spillway, the road below it will be designed to be washed away. Remember the secant cutoff wall located right here and extending nearly 60 feet down into solid bedrock will prevent any head cutting erosion from eating away at the emergency spillway or the RCC apron. Now let's take a closer look at this buttress wall design that's going to connect the roller compacted concrete emergency spillway to the original OG weir portion of the emergency spillway. And this buttress wall design will be occurring right here. In these before pictures, we can get a better view of the original emergency spillway, which is still in place. And of course the RCC apron design is to prevent this type of erosion from ever occurring again. And from here you can get a good view of the ogival shape, thus the name OG, OG Weir. It kind of looks like the leading edge of a wing to provide smooth laminar water flow over the top. And from the lakeside it provides the world's largest infinity pool. These amazing photographs were shot by a boater on the day the emergency spillway was topped at a lake elevation of 901 feet. So this buttress wall design will be a structural concrete design to slow the water down and help dissipate it as it flows over the non-structural roller compacted concrete apron below. This will also provide a strong structural connection strengthening the base of the original OG Weir with the rest of the new emergency spillway structure below.
Now we'll bend around here a little bit further, take a look at this backfill operation as the winds are trying to push me away from the spillway. We can also see that all the cranes have flown home south for the winter. The existing crane pads are being removed to provide more backfill material and some blasting is taking place to create more backfill material as well. But in order to protect the drain pipes located on the exterior of the spillway walls, the first backfill material needs to be a carefully graded gravel. More backfill material will be added, further strengthening the spillway walls once the spillway is full of water. We can see some more backfill going on at the bottom of the spillway, and it looks like the dentates or diffuser blocks are all but finished. As we finish our tour today, bending around to the east, looking off to the north, we're sadly reminded that 250 square miles right off the left wingtip of the mighty Luscombe there was all lost to the campfire, including the towns of Paradise, Concow, and much of Megalia. Time to head back to the barn. Nobody in the pattern. Bit of a gusty wind out of the north and west. Double check those winds. Here, here comes the winds. Nevada County Airport, automated weather observation. Two, one, three, six, Zulu weather. Wind two, six, zero at four knots. Out of the west at four. Favor and runway two, five. But the best course of action is to come over here and look at the wind socks. Of course, here in Nevada County on a breezy day, each windsock will read a completely different indication. We've got lots of smokes from uh, folks burning their debris. Make your home fire safe. Lusk of 71608, left downwind 25, Nevada County. Nobody on base, nobody on final. 608 in the base 25, Nevada County, and we'll stop. We'll just come smoking on in here today. Tired of getting beat up by this wind. We'll need that extra speed and altitude to penetrate this headwind. On base and final. Get in the verbal below the trees here. Now, if we don't put it down right at the beginning. We're going to get floated upon. Big way. See? There's that second float right there. Woo! A little chink. Keep it on the center line, Brownie. Now this windsock says, ah, it's right down the runway. Let's go get some gas. So even with the decrease in gas prices, Avgas is very slow to come down until they sell the last load. So it's 4.45 a gallon still. Look out for the cement truck. See that? Genuine old antique bell, 47. So if this has helped you gain a greater understanding of Oroville, 
or other projects in Northern California, or you just like flying around in the mighty Luscom, hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. 2019 is going to be another big year with several new large projects starting and who knows what kind of adventures. See you here.